Hey guys, it's Vivian. How y'all doing? So right now I'm gonna be reacting to the last two manga chapters of Bleach and I know I keep saying I'm gonna be reacting to Bleach but I keep like forgetting or delaying. Let's just say I got lazy but here's the last two manga chapters and I actually did catch up to uh, 684 like two weeks ago but then it was kind of like rushed and I felt like oh uh, next week's a break and then the this actual final chapter 686 will be out like yesterday so uh, i decided to like reread everything and try to understand anything and so i did that and for 686 chapters it was like 684 chapters like very nice i understood things i didn't get like before when i was younger like i was preteen when i started or just teenager when i started reading bleach so yeah now that i understood my like I was a kid, I was kind of dumb, so I have no idea like some of the explanations that went on. So this clarified some stuff and I didn't even know the bount was like... Well, I actually started with the anime and then I read the manga after I caught up to the anime. So anyways, um, yeah, the last few chapters was like so rushed. Now, I'm someone who like... I when you do it so slow i have to like stop that's the reason why i stopped like one to two years ago because it was going so slow and i didn't like that it was like oh i'm i'm strong like the quincy would be like you thought you defeated me well i'm back and i'm stronger than ever and then the captains would be like oh no oh no i still got stuff or they'd be like oh my gosh you're still not dead and then they gotta like team up and stuff but man that captain hitsugaya's like the adult form oh my gosh and then there's uh, Kenpachi with his like new Bankai and the thing with Yashiru is kind of like oh but seriously when he first got his Zangpakuto like that's when she appeared you know and yeah <laughs> oh Unahara oh my gosh she was the original and I know I'm saying all these things because like I kind of catched up a few days ago so yeah that's what happened and yeah like even when like uh what's it called uh Byakuya and uh, Hitsugaya and Zaraki, when they're fighting that one Quincy, like, he just kept, like, getting bigger and stronger, falling, going, like, I'm like, when's he gonna die? And then, I guess, like, when, I, I could be wrong when uh, Yuaba was, like, fighting Ichigo, and he's like, I'm just gonna absorb all of the power, so everyone just lost their power, and I didn't understand why, um, oh, I forgot his name, he's the B guy, yeah, I'm not even gonna pronounce his name because I can't I can't say all their names it's just too hard I think it's German but yeah I can't even say like Schneider that's what these Quincy's are called oh my gosh I'm so sorry for butchering the name but yeah I guess and then he was like oh I'm gonna heal your wounds to uh Ishida and then I guess like it's I don't know, it's just weird. There could have been more to it. Like, instead of making this, like, jammed in, like, five chapters, this was probably gonna be, like, 40-something chapters. I think he could have done it in, like, 20 chapters. Like, give him, like, a little more time. I knew he was gonna make it longer, but make it this much. But he had, like, this much. Oh, shoot. Anyways, um, oh, last thing. And the fathers. I know, like, it's, like, oh, this like a new generation, I gotta let the sons take over to destroy the Yuhaba, but man, the the fathers did nothing. And like three worlds, the real human world, Hueco Mundo and Soul Society are falling and you're just gonna come last minute. Like, man, everyone had to like keep <laughs> pulling last strings, but I know I keep talking. I'm just gonna get into the last, second to last chapter right now. And ooh, it has this really nice picture of Ichigo standing right here. Oh, I guess this is really bad to show. Anyways, commemorating 15 years legendary super climax of the color cover. Okay, Ichigo standing from across the test of time these past 15 years. Yes. Yeah, Ichigo looks good. Wonder if time passed. Yeah. Special announcement. Yeah, special announcement. Bleach will be concluding in the next chapter. However, there will be also an extra important announcement as well. Okay, yeah, someone, like, before I read this, someone told me that, like, oh, this will not be the last chapter, you gotta wait two more weeks, so, yeah. Okay, so there's, um, Shunsui, Captain Commander, 
uh, he's drink. I guess there's a tombstone, and he's like, at last. Looks like all the work, cleanup work is finally wrapping up. Just one more block to pave, and that'll be all. And he looks up. While sipping his sake cup, he recounts the days of yore and tries to imagine the future that lies ahead, but his mind is clouded with uncertainty. So, time sure does fly by. I can't believe it's been 10 years now. Oh, 10 years! That means Ichigo is like 28. Oh, damn. Uh, don't know how we managed, but we were able to pick up the pieces after that near disaster. Actually, I don't know if like Soul Society years and um, what's it called? And the human years are are like the same amount of time, you know? You know what I mean? Anyways, um, let's see. So, Captain Commander, we're out of time. Please pick up the pace. Oh man, some people just can't appreciate the pace at which I work. You could learn a thing or two from this old mountain man. I'll be back and we can talk some more than Ukitate. Oh, it's a tomb for his friend. Yes, I almost forgot Ukitate, like, had to sacrifice. Well, he didn't really sacrifice himself. It was kind of like already done or else he would have died when he was like, three years old or something so captain commander yeah yeah i heard you first time there's like a little spark of black or something a perfect end hmm so the west 55th block is finally done oh there's kuroshi oh, they sure took their sweet time finishing it now i can expand on my secret underground network let's see we have to do a courtesy overview on the whole on the on-site location yeah is this too loud yeah Okay, so, oh, he made, like, another Nemu. Oh, she is so cute. Nemu Hachigo. Hachi is, like, eight. So, right away, Master, Master Mayuri. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, I told you, you don't have to shout like that. I swear, how'd you wind up? This way is a complete mystery. Uh, my apologies, Master Mayuri. <laughs> okay, oh, Captain Zaraki, are you acquiring anything else? Who's, is there, is that a Yuki Michi? right there and there's um ikaku damn straight uh, at your goddamn disposal we are forever at your disposal at your beck and call sir you say jump we'll see how high sir anything we need sir we're at your disposal <laughs> yeah he's like mad he's like enough you're making my ears bleed if you all want to be at that at my disposal that badly i'll do it myself and they're like Eek! that's not what we mean sir uh as eloquent and articulate as always captain zaraki ahead of his time that reminds me captain uh oh Ikaku is wearing the um, the band for the vice vice captain, so he must be that. And what are they doing all bowing and being almighty to Zaraki? They know he just, he doesn't, the captain position is just like a name for him. He just like wants to fight strong people. Yeah, and damn. All right. So this, and Ikaku's like, this event today, we're supposed to be at the first squad's barrack, right? Is it really okay for us to be dilly-dallying here? Eh? What are you rambling on about? It's for the squad 13 captain, so obviously it'll be squad 13's barracks. It was supposed to be squad 1's barrack, right? How the hell should I know you're the second in command? You're the one who should be telling me. Mm-hmm. Listen carefully, Ikaku. The reason why my sense of direction was always so awful was because of Yachiru really oh that is true that is true so now that Yachiru isn't around anymore there's no way that I can get lost they're like uh looking at each other now what's that look for I'm in total agreement with the captain here <laughs> oh Yachiru but technically he can still see her because she's his spirit um of the Zanpakuto right so anyways he's like right then if I made myself clear let's get going already quit standing around with your thumbs up uh, your ass and hurry up. Ah, and uh, here's Hirako. No offense, but Shinji Hirako, he was kind of useless. <laughs> like, like ever since like the Vizard arc, like he seems so cool. He's like showing his power, and then after that, after like fighting Aizen, like he just kept getting beaten. And like, <laughs> sorry, but no. Anyways, he's like, ain't that squad 11? Why are they going that away? I think they might be lost, says Hinamori. Uh, that ain't the kind of speed someone moves at if they're lost. Oh, she grew her hair long again, and it's tied up in a, like, a nice bun. She looks more mature. And then she's like, I'll go fetch them. You're kidding me, right? Don't bother. They'll just drag us down along with them, and we'll end up running late as well. And she's like, but, and he's like, no buts or asses about it. They're grown-ass men. Just leave them be. That's an order from your captain. Say, Captain Hirako, your only ever issue captain orders for ferilious situations like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's just the difference in perspective and value of judgment. It only appears to be a frivolous situation from your point of view. In fact, I use them when and only when the situation calls for it. And he jumps off? Who jumps off? 
I don't know. There's no way we can pull that off, Captain. Don't overexert yourself. You guys make your way down here at your own leisure. Oh, it's a him. Oh, shoot. I forgot his name. But he's um, Komamura's uh, vice captain. Vice, uh, yeah, vice captain, yeah, and then there's Hitsugai and Matsumoto. No, he's in his like young teen form, yeah, but he's still cute, anyways. And he, Hitsugai is like, Did you just arrive from the training grounds? Your work ethic is putting the rest of ours to shame, Captain Iba. Okay, his name is Iba, okay, the sunglasses dude. <laughs> he just looks like like a Japanese, like gangster, a yakuza with the pointy uh, hair and the sunglasses, mustache, and like a skull. He's cool. Captain Hitsugaya. No. He's like, I still got ways to go before my body is fit to become that of a captain. If I were to forego this training, I'll feel as though I would only be one in name only. That's true. Mm -hmm. And Toshiro's like, I mean, yeah, he's like, yeah. And Hitsugaya's like, oh, I didn't think Hitsugaya was the type to make like all these jokes. But when he was uh, fighting that Quincy with uh, Byakuya, he kept making all these like high jokes. And I was like, wait, this is kind of not like his character or did he change uh yeah i was it kind of like took me by surprise but right here he's telling matsumoto you definitely have what it takes that's the kind of initiative and dodge determined required to become a captain oh no he's telling iba and he's like i definitely know a certain someone who could benefit from that little of a gumption <laughs> he's talking about matsumoto and she's like huh who might you be ta referring to <laughs> perhaps shuhei uh who else would it be oh shoot Ho hope you're listening, Shuhei. Um, there's uh, Captain Rose. Oh no, that's not, no, no. Sorry, that's Masamoto saying that. And and <laughs> Shuhei's like, oh, I know you're just gonna force me to listen to you anyways, Rangiku, eh, Rangiku san. I'm just gonna put it out there, but I'm with your captain on what he just said. Well, what what do you think of this? You're looking at someone who already got their bankai master. Ah, did we see it? I think we saw it. Oh, I can't remember freaking hell she's like don't don't say don't you don't say funny after everything we've ever been through i've never caught a glimpse of it and these guys like yeah me too he's like hmm seems like to me someone might be faking it and his captain's like i haven't seen it either and uh he's, he's like come on i know you've seen it captain uh, what am I supposed to do? I haven't had a chance to unleash it since back then. And Masumo's like, he's full of excuses, pretty much. Quit taking her side, Captain. The way I see it, not having an opportunity to use it in 10 years, I'd say is a great thing, actually, because that means for the past 10 years, nothing has happened to break the peace we've enjoyed. Mm-hmm. Masumoto has that look. Thinking about Gin? <laughs> I don't know. And now to commemorate these 10 years, I think today's ceremony is more than appropriate. Uh, so phone's like, you're late! Explain yourselves! <laughs> okay, um, Team 11 is like, Ugh, out of breath. Zaraki's like, hmm. <laughs> hmm? Uh, Kenpachi's like, hmm, I just busted my ass taking the scenic route through Seirete to get here. And this is the thanks I get? Tell someone who cares. I want to know how on this holiday you take your sweet time jogging around Seirete. And... Wait, who's that? Wait, is that Isane? Wait, she, her hair kind of, well, it didn't grow out. Well, it kind of did. Before it was kind of a bob, now it's, wait, short hair, now it's, before it was like a pixie kind of cut, now it's like a bob. She kind of looks like Shinji a little bit, but just girly and, eh. <laughs> she's like, Any, eh, anyways, the two of you are now here, that's what's important, right this way. Oh, for heaven's sake, sis, you're just a captain now, and you need... <laughs> <laughs> just like them you need to stop with that sub subservient route that's easier said than done so um i think this is third seat of um team 13 of squad 13 and i know they're sisters so is she her vice captain now or is are they just there because this is the uh, meeting for captain and vice captains anyways um Nano is like, now then we shall proceed with the promotional ceremony of the new captain of goatee 13 Okay, so the, all the captains are standing there. Will the new captain please enter? There is um, Renji. He's like, oh, why the long look? Don't worry. If your knees start to buckle and give your and your legs give out, I'll be more than happy to give you a piggyback ride. And you could see like his hair just like he's growing. It's like before it was like a I don't know what you call it like a chick rooster, just like flaring out, spiky, and it got longer. And now it's like a braid, and I'm pretty sure it's Rukia, right? There's no other. Who else would it be? Like she's part of thirteen, and her captain is 
past even though it's been 10 years ago they're doing it now i guess she had to like get stronger like i can't wait to see how rukia looks like i wonder what byakuya is gonna think like he must be so proud i could be wrong and then she's in there or the person's like Shh, shut it embarrassed like oh i see like the little strand it's Rukia, it has to be. Oh, look at that! And she has like the little blush here. Tere, tere. Oh, she's so cute, and her hair has grown out. She looks so mature. Captain of the Gold 13, Kuchiki Rukia. I love it. Oh, look at how mature she looks. Yes, and the blush. Present, present, huh? Like, um, here's, um, I forgot his name, but he's the third seat of, or oh, I maybe he's the set vice captain now but he was the third seat of uh, uh, Kurotsuchi and he's like where did the captain vanish off to that's right today's the new thing for the captain uh, I hate to break to you but I think he went to investigate the reconstructure sections mm -hmm. uh, what for if you're the vice captain are you in the dark then how am I supposed to know geez I guess I'll go back and call him myself something happened not sure we've we're getting very strange readings on our sensor looks like wait that looks nearly identical to the ones Yuha Reitsu emitted 10 years ago. Oh, what could it be? I, I mean, we could be wrong, but like, damn, like, I can't wait. Next chapter, we're gonna be seeing, um, what's it called? We're going to be seeing the, oh, I can't even think. We're gonna ten, um, everyone 10 years later, Ichigo, Orihime, Sado, Ishita, let's go. But one chapter of a time skip, man, it better be, like 30 pages long i don't know maybe i should end it here because it's been like 16 minutes already and i'll continue in another video let's go